Hey everyone, it is Andrea and today I'm coming at you with my monthly haul. It is the 12th and this is all I have and I don't think I have any open orders. I might have one. Once more love open order, but like this is it. So we're just showing everything, anything, all at once. Okay. So first things first is Marg sent me a Christmas present. She also sent me like a blanket and like stuff for the kids, but this was the cutest thing ever. She sent me pillowcases and they say like mama and dada on them. I just thought they're so cute of me and Nick. I might actually like sew them just to be like little teeny pillows or like kind of more like cut around them and put them on this chair I have in my bedroom. But I just thought these were so cute and she even drew my shirt with the rips in it, which is I always, I have the, this shirt. It's from, um, I can't think of the name of the place, but I have it in like every color because I love it. And every time I go visit Mark, I make sure I wear it because she always just is like, why are you doing this? But it's literally so comfortable. Then I also got, oh wait, let me show you the rest of the stuff from Mark first. Well, let me show you the big stuff because then I can zoom in and stay in. But I did get the Black Aura Cell Mini Cloud Toe. If you watch my personal channel, I did also get it in the Shearling, which is like a boucle type situation. And like a really teeny piece of plastic I don't want to put that on the thing and let it float off but I got that one as well but I just wanted to get the black one because it's so 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 cute I mentioned this before but I was a big advocate for the cloud tote in general Tiki wanted to do like a different style and I was like no we need the cloud the cloud is iconic so whenever she announced she was doing a mini cloud toe I was like y'all I need it and I was just going to get it in the one shearling, but then I saw it and I was like, I think this would look really, really nice in the black. So it's just a mini toe. It wouldn't fit like an A5 wide planner, but this is a B6 or a Estelle. So you'd be able to fit a B6 in here. And I think that that's kind of where I would say it comfortably holds, but you could put like, I could put my like vlogging camera in here. I could put my phone in here. I could put keys, AirPods, wallet, um, a B6 planner external charger, etc., and it would be the perfect size. It has feet on the bottom. You have the different pockets inside. Came in a bunch of different colors. I personally would have preferred it with gold hardware, but that's a just a me. But all the hardware is kind of like hidden on the inside, which is nice. I also like the little thing for your keys. I'm always the person losing my keys. But then I also like having the different pockets so I can put like my AirPods in here so they're not floating or my wallet, pen or chapstick or lip gloss glasses or whatever over here it's just overall super cute it comes with a strap so it is just adorable if you need a new bag i highly suggest this little cutie then um we'll just get continue with aura style i did pick up another one of these notebooks and i already used these for work but i wanted to pick up another one for dnd &D, which is just literally the most nerdy thing to ever come out of my mouth but super nice packaging i think they used to just come in like was it paper or this but it's like a box now so this is just a b6 simple grid and i just thought it'd be perfect for writing down my character stats and all the things that i need to remember so i picked up that then i have my actual order from marg she sent me this card with my gift and it just has the cutest message on the inside and i love her so much cute once more with love tissue paper and I did get the bundle and then maybe some other things. I don't really remember. I might have just got the bundle. And the thing is, is Mark has had this planned for, I want to say, two years. Like, I've known about this whole theme for, like, two years. So you open it up, and it's supposed to be, like, claw machine type themed. So this kind of goes along with, like, the claw machine type arcade situation. So you get this little bobble. I like that the bow is pink. I think everything so far, like plushy wise, the bow has been red, but this is going to go on my desk for sure in this cute little mystery ball type situation. I'll probably give this to my kids to play with because they love like little things that they can open and put stuff in. Then this is the bundle. So let me go ahead and get rid of the invoice here. Yeah, I think I just got the anniversary bundle. Came in a envelope. There was a really cute little journaling card. There is a kit. This is like a mini kit style. You could pick, I think, between mini kit and her like, uh, was like Hobonichi or something. Is this bigger too? 
create no it's like a mini kit style on matte paper Nick just texted me um, and then this is the like there was like a matte label for me in there there is the seven year uh, favorites you can buy this a la carte now oh there's also the aura Estelle uh, planner stickers there's some star full box overlays for me, a little freebie with some uh, Once More With Love icons and Life Is Short by the stickers, star headers, and also some large icons, which are also a collab with Marg, Wonton and a Million collab, Simply Gilded collab, also another sticker sheet that I sent her, it's Sparkly Hollow uh, Munchkins, and then there is also a sticky note, which is super cute, definitely will use those. There was a winner pin, which I do have a pin board, so I'll put that on. I love that it's gold. There was a little dot marker, which I love the green. Right now in my planner, my planner, but it's like a light. I don't have like a piece of paper to try this out. Oh, I can write on this. It's like a light purple. So if this is like a muted green, that'd be really pretty. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect with my light purple marker that I have in my work planner right now. I have like a real pile of trash going. And then there is a little washi tape that's like a claw machine washi, super cute. This is from Hub Man and Chub Girl, and it's like a little claw machine decal. And then last but not least, there is a shaker keychain with a rose gold hardware. So you just shake it, and there is little cutie characters in there so cute love that so that is the full bundle and i think I, i'm pretty sure i do have another once more with love order coming so that might come before the end of the month so maybe there'll be another portion of this haul and then i just have stuff from hannah she brought me this over because she didn't like it so i'm going to borrow it and try reading it because a lot of people really like tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow <clears throat> Nick called me again but yeah it was like one of the like best selling or top top rated I don't know books of last year it is quite long oh it's like 400 so I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes but Hannah did not like it did not finish it but I'm gonna try it and then I have my big old thick order and I usually just place like one order a month when she does her new releases oh so cute with the Monopoly um so yeah so let's go through the things all of the things all of the things okay so we'll go over everything but I don't even really remember what I ordered versus what she threw in but I feel relatively confident that I got my piles figured out so let's go over the this first so this was an idea and I am so excited about it. So she had an issue with some paper where it was just not foiling right and she was not able to get her money back because the place that she ordered it from was just trash and really mean and just, what it's a long story. But she was like, how am I gonna make my money back on this? And I was like, you should do little like grab bags. And these are basically do not foil grab bags. So she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sheets of stickers in here. And you just sh like, it's like foil at your own risk, but some of the foils would foil fine on it. But a lot of them were just not giving her a good time. So this was like the way of her being able to make some of her money back while offering a really great discount on products that if you like black or like some of these like icons and underlays, you could use all of this in black. Um, she picks them so that it's like things that make sense. So you can get these and I think that they're like $10 or like a dollar a sheet or something like that. They're really, really affordable. So I would definitely get your hands on these and it's fun to get like a mystery. So the first thing here is fine confetti black, which I mean, very, very usable. There is some stars, which are, you guys see that sometimes I like doing unfoiled kits, like using unfoiled like a whole week. So this would be perfect for that. There is Hilary Duff movies, family time. There is like little like period stickers, uh, turkeys or chickens and clocks, gamer stickers. 
breakfast stickers and laundry stickers, little icons. So again, great deal. Just don't foil them or foil them at your own risk, but we love it. Then we'll move on to the freebies. So there's a journaling card here. Super, super cute with the Monopoly icons. And then I think these are like the tiered freebies, possibly. Maybe the one was like an all order. No, maybe this was like all orders. I'm not sure. I think this is the all orders, possibly. So it says keep the ones that hear you when you never say a word in purple. And then there's this here, which, or maybe I ordered this. No, maybe, I don't know. This is like the self-care in the font of the month for January. Then there is, this is, I believe, the 100, and, no, 75, 50? I don't know. So I was like, I have a lot of matte freebies, and if you want some, you can use them as a tier freebie. And she's like, heck yeah, because then it's something that she doesn't have to make, and it's easier for her, saves her time, and it's a great quality freebie. So that is in Blue Hollow. And then there's also the silver Valentine's Day icons. Then I think she just sent me all of the PR freebies. So let's go ahead and go through them. The first one here is mine, which is so cute. I might be biased though. And this matches my collab bundle and it says out here doing the best I can. And the scripts say bestie date chillin' and then it just has some deco pieces and this is in the font that is in the bundle which we'll go over them. This is Kirsten's which is very usable as well. It has a stroke box which we could all use a stroke box. Morning coffee, work, read, and I think these were in one of the fonts of the months. And this is in like a light blue I believe. This one is planning with Terrell. Terrell? I'm not sure. I'm very bad at name pronunciations. So you have a quote, some scripts and icons. And then this one is Sophie Plans 6. So cute. I love this. I actually never thought to get this. But especially seeing it printed, it's so pretty, like the little mandala. Rosie Plans, Be Strong, Plan Payday, and some icons. Mick Plans, Forever Yours, Read, Cook, some icons. A Hug is Always the Right Size, so cute, Ling Ling Plans. On to the next chapter, Cassie plans, pour yourself a cup of ambition, planner Emmy. And then this one's super cute, Ellie Ink. It's like a little cheetah print with some icons and scripts. Super, super cute. Also, Chris has a freebie. I don't remember what his code is, but you probably have to put Chris in the notes. And also Haley has a freebie. Then she also threw in these D&D &D dice, which are perfect. She gave me them in gold, silver, hollow, and sparkly hollow. Those will come in handy. Okay, so this was a random idea I had, but I've been like on her butt to do mini icons, and she's like, Andrea, they take so long to cut, etc., etc., etc. And I specifically wanted mini icons that fit into little things, like the little space. I have obviously ones in my shop, but I want to be able to order them in all the colors and have variations. And a lot of her icons do fit in a little thing, but I want them to fit perfectly. So I was like, can you, I don't remember what I asked her, but I was like, I have an idea. So I came up with this idea and I think it's super cute. And it's kind of a play on how I have the, you know, the, the Disney rides, how they fit exactly into my little thing. Well, we're back with the same kind of idea, but mini icons. So this will be very easy for her to cut. She didn't have a lot of cut line mistakes. So I went ahead and formatted this sheet and sent it over. And I was like, please print and cut this for me. So there is a repeating of two. So you get two of every icon. They aren't every icon on the icon sheet. I had to kind of eliminate some to be able to do the two rows, but I tried to pick the ones that I thought were the most usable. So I went ahead and asked her to do it for me in the matte silver, in the pumpkin, the red, and then also the rainbow. And basically you just have a bunch of icons that will fit perfectly inside of a little thing box, my little thing box specifically. I obviously don't know like what everyone else's little thing box sizes are. So I'm just going to go ahead and like what's an icon that I probably won't use. Like... I don't know. They're all so usable. That's the problem. Let's do the, like the cutting board. They're all the same exact size and you can just go ahead and line them up and stick them straight down on the little thing. And they are just the perfect little thing icons. So no matter what they are, 
they are cut into a square and they are centered as possible. But realistically, it's such a small space that even if it's off centered a little bit, you will not be able to tell. So they are just, again, square and you can just pop them down. The other thing is, is just because they're cut square doesn't mean they can only fit into a little thing. So you could definitely put them in a big little thing or a fancy label. And I think they would look really, really cute. So let's do like the little underwear one in the big little thing and I'm just gonna go ahead and center it and because it's clear you really can't tell but it'll fit in that as well or a fancy label I think would fit pretty nicely in so that was just kind of an idea I had that was able to like she can make mini icons and um it's like easier for her to cut than they were before so these will be coming out with the next new release which by the time this video goes up the next new release might be up I don't even know when I have this scheduled or at least the release video will be but Love this. Very excited to order it in literally all the colors. And then let's get into my actual, actual order. So I ordered the font of the month in gold, sparkly hollow, black, hollow, red, and silver. So stinking cute. I told her I needed Game Night and Read added to it, but I am just in love with this. So basically what I do for this is I have all of my favorite things that I use you I use usually in a week and I just am obsessed and I use these all the time so I am very excited to have the new font of the month in these colors I actually don't even think I'm using red this like Valentine's Day season which is sad because I wanted to use like one of the red foil bundles but it's okay then I picked up some underlays and I had ideas for all of these if I remember is going to be the real question, but I guess we'll just go ahead and flippy flip on through these and hope for the best. You're going to get some like a little bit of sneakies in here, but I mean, it's going to be a good time. And there's some things that I just ordered for fun that I didn't have ideas for. Ooh, this one turned out really cute. Um, I don't know about how that one's going to work, so we'll see. And then I ordered a bunch of bundles. So, actually, I feel like I didn't actually order a lot, but the bundles, they get thick fast. So, the first thing here is XOXO, and I got this in pink tie-dye. Why? I'm not quite sure. This one is the one that I don't remember what I was thinking. Let me look at my Valentine's Day spreads because I'm not quite sure. This would actually look, pink tie-dye would actually look really, really cute with Prosperity. Like, honestly, might be the most perfect choice, but I already have the Caress Press Lunar New Year bundle, but if you don't have a foil for it, I think, if this is pink tie-dye, I'm pretty sure, I think this would be perfect. I literally don't know what my plan was for this, so we're going to have to do deep dive investigation on this one, but... Super, super cute. I might have just ordered it to order it because sometimes I do things like that. The next thing in here is I did order the cowboy underlays in the sparkly hollow, which it hers is pixie hollow and also the sparkly gold. And I did get this specifically for a kit. You're probably like, Andrea, this is like the weirdest thing for you to just randomly order. Where the heck is that kit? And I ordered it. What is going on? Where is my March lineup? Oh, it's in here. I'm losing it. So this is for this kit here. Mm, this is on the wrong week. I need to move it. Um, this I'm using for the week of Chris's birthday because Chris wants to go to the rodeo for his birthday. So we're all going to the rodeo. And this has a like faux mixed metal gold and silver in it. So I thought using this with the carnival kit would make it more rodeo. I was going to use the Westworld kit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this with this. Um, but I just feel like I really wanna use that for Father's Day, but also might end up switching it if, um, if like I find something different I wanna use for Father's Day, then I will do something different and then move that so but I'm pretty sure that's where I want to go then I have this and I'm coming out with a trolls kit I don't know if it'll be out by now or sneak by now but I thought this would be really really cute I'm probably going to use the shimmer mixed metal uh rainbow and sparkly rainbow and I went back and forth between the uh, banners which is the garland and a music note one 
And I just thought the, the garland makes it more birthday-y because the kit itself is not birthday-y. But this will be for Reagan's birthday, so I went and got the kid show too, which is Trolls. I requested these for that kit specifically. And then also, speaking of birthdays, for Theo's birthday, we are doing a bluey themed. I don't know if I want to use this orange. Looking at it in person, I should have actually just like looked at the foil colors prior to ordering. I might... I got it in orange, I think. Is that, or maybe it's pumpkin. I thought pumpkin was like a little bit lighter, but I might, I'm gonna wait until it's printed and then I might end up sw out switching out orange for maybe silver, but I think the blue would be perfect, but I got the Kid Show one, which is bluey overlays, which are perfect. I love the mixture of the overlays and the quotes. And then I got the Doggo two in the light blue and the orange or pumpkin. But like I said, I think I might, based on the colors, how they print, I think I might switch the orange out for the silver or maybe even just do two blues or just see how the other colors print and see how it goes. But that's my idea for that one. Then for the Wednesday kit, I went back and forth between using like a dark color, but I think with all of the dark colors that the matte silver will pop. So I went ahead and picked up both of the Wednesday overlays. I won't be using 16 overlays in a spread, but I thought this chat kind of just gave me options. And then I also picked up the stained glass, which I thought was kind of like a different option for that kit. I was just literally went through every option for the underlays and I was like, I don't know what to pair with Wednesday. I was just gonna end up using like an underlay. I do have like a matte silver confetti bundle coming that I'm gonna pair all this with. So I was just gonna use the regular underlays, but then I saw the stained glass. I thought that worked perfect. This actually be really cute to um, lay over top of either a black bougie box or getting like a purple or something to underlay and maybe even doing the stained glass and like like layering them. I don't know, just ideas. Then I also picked up the mama quotes and I mostly just really liked the hot mess mama, tiny human tamer, um, mom life, the best life. I thought those were so cute. So it's gold and silver and I thought I could use this with my Mother's Day kit this year, but also just any time. I also picked up the new Magic Movies in, oh, I accidentally got two of two. That's okay. It's, you know, it happens. We watch them multiple times. So I got one, two, and two, double. And these are just so cute. So they're in her normal fonts, but she also threw in Disney fonts, um, like Disneyland, and then also like the Disney font. So I thought that was so cute. I would even just like all of these just in the like Disney font because they're just perfect perfection, but definitely will get use out of those. I love these new marble underlays that she came out with and I didn't have a kit I specifically wanted to use them with. I thought maybe I could use this with my birthday kit or something, but also like these are just fun foils to have. So I went ahead and picked up marble one in sparkly hollow and rainbow and rainbow two in a gold hollow. I thought those would be fun to have on hand. And then I went ahead and picked up my collab bundle in literally an obscene amount of foils because I just am obsessed with this. We have ideas for like the next few, but if you have any suggestions of things you want to see, let me know. But this, this bundle took me, I mean, we had like the idea pre-planned out, but the bundle itself only took me like two hours to do because I was just so zoned in and excited about it. So let me go ahead and show you the bundle. I did pick it up in seven foil colors because that's how crazy I am. This bundle will not come back to Planet Hannah though. Like once it's gone, it's not going to be coming back to our shop. So if you wanna pick it up in all of these foils, definitely do so. I think that this one will be the first quarter bundle and then we're gonna work on the second quarter bundle and so on and so forth. But with this bundle, we decided to do an add-on. I did show this in my last haul because I have it in rainbow because I'm going to, I think I'm going to use that for my birthday spread. And then I also have it in sparkly haul. But I wanted to get it in some other foil colors. The first one here is just regular hollow. So here is the add-on. So the add-on is the tall box, the whole reinforcers, and then a quote that says, don't kill my vibe. And then here you have two pages of the full box overlays. This one would be good for a wide box whenever you have this. Stroke boxes and uh, glitter header overlays. Two pages of the underlays. These have the smiley faces on them with stars. The scripts, which we switched out a couple of them and we changed the font to match the theme along with the dates on the font. Fancy headers, 15 millimeter overlay and deco. <clears throat> 
And again, I got that in hollow. Pink tie-dye. So cute. Gold hollow. Um, this I think is pink hollow. It's like a light pink hollow. I don't remember what I ordered. I'm going to say it's probably pink hollow. If you want to know what this color is specifically, let me know. Purple hollow question mark. It's so pretty. This is like one you could get in any foil color in light pink, I think. And then in regular gold. But it's just all so stinking good, y'all. And that is my thick normous plan a Hannah order and this could be the end of the haul I really don't know but if it is thank you for watching and if not I'll see you in a minute just realized I don't have a video to put up for today ah, very tragic it's already past seven these are the things that happened yesterday I like rearranged my whole office so I just think I got lost on time and then Nick and I went on a little day date but anyways okay Let's get into this. I'm like confused because I thought I had this pen sitting out so I could show you, but apparently not. So this is my haul. It's teeny. I am just like grasping at straws for things to haul for y'all the past couple of months. So this is a Parker pen refill. And I had to order this from the UK to get the fine um, point because I have this pen. It's actually a Tiffany's pen. Nick got it for me like years and years and years ago. But we are starting uh, to play D&D, &D and I want to have a really fun pen, so I have that pen. And the only thing is, is the gel in it is a thick gel, and they weren't expensive. I just had to order them from the UK, so I had to pay, like, the shipping. But I wanted the fine point, and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. This is an old pen, um, but it was the Parker gels. So I was really excited, and I'm excited to see if they fit and they work, and I will use them with my notebook that I have. Then I have something, again, a little bit different, and this is from Sonia Stegman, and Kittenish just so kindly alerted me that I needed to purchase. I used to be signed up for their Patreon, but I just found that I wasn't using the items. Holy guacamole, there's a lot of extras in here. I'm pretty sure. What did I order? I feel like there's always so much. Okay, I think I ordered... I don't know. I thought I only... I might have... This might be my order. But also, I feel like I might have only ordered these. I don't know. But I know I for sure ordered these. So there's Pride and Prejudice stuff. And I love Pride and Prejudice. I would say Pride and Prejudice, the newer one, not the older one, is one of my, like, top 10 favorite movies. And probably also one of my top 10 watch movies. Probably one of my top five watch movies. I can watch Pride and Prejudice over and over and over again. I just think it's such a beautiful story Ugh. if he wanted to he would uh i don't remember that but this oh my god okay but love this this is a bookmark i'm gonna switch this in for my bookmarks because she's just so cute and then this mm. your hands are cold I just love all of this <gasps> most ardently okay that's like that's a, that's a vibe it's a postcard postcard it's not gonna be postcard to anyone that's for me and then these are freebies I remember maybe I did buy like a three pack of I might have bought a three pack of cards that might have been what it was and then this was a freebie so sometimes in the waves of change we find our true destination that's really pretty postcard and then more freebies so many freebies I might just resign up because it's so cute this is spooky like taxidermy bones butterflies so bookmark vinyl card that has like a uv on it so nice and a thank you card oh my name's on there that's so cute i just feel like quality stuff y'all quality stuff from sonia segman and i might just resign it for the patreon because <gasps> oh, why not i also i signed up for a patreon recently I've been super into board games. You may or may not know. It's like my new personality trait. And um, I signed up for a Patreon for Jenna Rose, I think it is. And she is a planner girl. I don't think she has a shop anymore. But she does board game videos. So I signed up for a Patreon because I've been loving her content. But let's get into Caress Press. So Caress Press, Caress Press, Caress Press. Picked up a kit. 
and I don't know when I'm going to use this, but I like the colors of it. So I was like, I'm just going to get it. And if I use it and if I hoard it for forever, we don't know. So this is January Mystery Spring Queen. I mostly, I'm not going to lie, I love the Gucci purse. I just love Gucci. I just think Gucci is just so fun. Like, so I don't really like their basic designs at all. But like whenever they do fun designs, I really enjoy Gucci. But I love Gucci. I loved the colors of this and I loved the scene. Again, I don't know when I would use this. I don't really have any spring birthday pals. Like, I don't have any that I can think of besides, like, Chris and myself. But I don't think I'd use this for myself. I guess Jessica. But, like, this also doesn't give me, like, oh, that's really pretty. Jessica vibes too much? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe Jessica vibes for, like, a different new year. She likes bright colors. Maybe. Jessica, what do you think? Should I use this for your birthday one year? Let me know. And then I did pick up the 15 millimeter. I think there's three options, honestly. And I don't even ever, like, because I'd have to, like, reopen the ultimate, go back and look. And I just do, like, a Jesus take the wheel moment and just pick one and hope it looks good. And I just pick the purple. So that's what we got. And then I didn't pick up any fashion or anything, but there's, like, a this came with all the kits. So you have an extra or a fashion box and then a extra double box scene. So yeah, I don't know when I'm going to use it, but I really just love the Gucci bag and also the um, colors of it. I just think it was a really fun color take and it's exclusive art, so I needed it. Then I did pick up two foil bundles while I was there and I picked up two of each. This one I believe is a green hollow. So I think this would look really pretty with, um, I think it would look good with this kit. I wouldn't necessarily pair it with it. I would probably for this kit do either a pink foil to bring out some of the pink colors or a gold or gold champagne lights mix but i think that this would look really pretty with um pixie grove i don't think i'm gonna use it with it but i think it matches this green color pretty well um i don't know what i'm using pixie grove tbh but you could use this with that, but I'm just going to keep it on hold. This would be pretty with it. What are the main colors again? Because if it's not green, maybe. So there's a green in one of the main colors. Yeah, I'm not sure. I just knew I wanted to keep it on hold. Let me give you a little flippy through because there are two different formats. So, so you have the, this way, full boxes, full boxes, tall headers, the bottom washi, uh, deco, date numbers, whole reinforcers, and uh, headers, icons, scripts, and then the bougies. So that's the that's the first bundle I picked up. I picked up. I always pick up two. You never know what's gonna sell out. And then I also picked up this one. This is the celestial. I don't know if this is a. I think this is the old celestial format. Like not old, but like the boxes look the same as the old one. And this is in Champagne Lights. I don't remember what she calls it, but whatever she calls this color is Champagne Lights. So if you take, if you went to this listing, looked up with this like sparkly gold color, I don't think she calls it Champagne Lights. And then you type it into the thing, you'll be able to find everything she has in this color, which is Champagne Lights. Like I, I gave her the code for it, so it will be exactly the same as Champagne Lights. So you have the full boxes, the um, these full boxes, and tall overlay, which are taller. To tall overlay is a little shorter than our tall boxes so if you're using one of crest presses kits with one of my kits foil bundles with one of my regular kits you just make sure you like center this out or you could cut it and place it on the top and the bottom which is probably what i would do and then you have oh my god it's so pretty i just love champagne lights that like in the foil world there is a bazillion sparkly hollows there's a bazillion sparkly golds but champagne lights is a very specific like it's one of them so yeah, it's just, it's so pretty. So you can mix and match this with any of our champagne light stuff. And we do have a lot of champagne lights like outside of bundles. Like we have champagne lights icons. We have champagne lights scripts. We have some champagne lights um, whole reinforcers. We have champagne lights. There's a bunch of different stuff. If you look up champagne lights in our shop, you could pair things. So you have deco, you have date numbers. You have the whole reinforcers, the, the extra headers here, which I don't know. Are they the same as? No, they're a little bit different. So these are like constellations. And then these ones are like stars and moons. And the bottom washi. So I picked up two of those. I think that's going to be really coming in handy. Oh, wait. Did I show you these? It just has regular bougie boxes and these scripts and icons there as well. So cute. So cute. So cute. So that is everything 
I picked up in this haul clip. I tried to talk a little longer so that this haul was a little bit longer. Don't know if you noticed, but that is everything. Okie dokie pokies. This is the last haul clip and I am, as of right now, very mad. So I have this all. This is this week's, well, this is next week's new releases. And I already filmed them. And I also filmed a plan with me that was supposed to go up today. Nick is currently trying to like solder the memory card because the memory card just literally died. So if you have old memory cards and you film, maybe get some new ones every once in a while because apparently he says like there's no signs, it just dies. So I lost that for footage. He's still trying to get it. I had a whole plan with me. I had filmed and I had planned to put this up next week. But here we are. This might still go up next week if he like recovers the footage. But if not... You'll never see that plan with me. <laughs> and I'm just really sad about it. And I have to refilm the new releases, which is a little a little sad because I feel like my first take's always the best one, but you know. Things happen. I ordered new memory cards, gonna throw out all of the ones that I have. Well, Nick said he can use them for things, but I am just over it. So I did pick up Pixie Grove from Crest Press. We have Pixie Grove in our shop that's a different colorway, but I figured I really like this art. It gave me like fairy elf. What is this? Fairy L fives. Oh, this might be like a. Was this the full boxes or was this the full boxes? I don't know. There's like a lot of full boxes in here. I could do like a two whole spreads with that. Um, if I had more bottom washing and stuff. But yeah, I'm just like not in a great mood. But we are hauling. We're doing the thing. And then I think this one also had multiple. I mentioned last time. Like I just pick a random one. I I believe in the process of hoping hoping for the best. And then I also picked up the tall box, the blonde one. Just thought she was cute. Very so much reminds me of my D&D character, which I'm very excited about. So I might use that sometime, but I figured I would pick it up. It's more of like a rosy and mine's more like greeny. So necessary. Then I did pick up some foil bundles. She came out with the cherry foil bundle and I think that there might have been another color, but I was like, I don't know. Even these, I don't know when I'll use cherry in lavender hollow. Yeah, I think that's lavender hollow. Um, I'll show you it in gold, but I also did pick it up in lavender hollow and red. And I only picked up one of each of these because I'm personally not super into cherries at all. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'll ever use these. There's like little flowers and confetti, but I just figured, oh, I accidentally got the big one that time. Um, I just figured I'd pick it up just in case a kit comes along where I need cherries, but yeah, not a huge fan of cherries. I don't know what it is. I don't like the taste of cherries, but I know aesthetically they are very, the vibes right now. And then I also picked up the leaves. I also don't remember picking this one up in the full, but who knows in, I believe this is just regular hollow. So this is in the new format with all of the, oops, I'm upside down, all the pages. And this is just in regular hollow. I also don't remember picking this up. Cause like, I feel like I would have picked up other foil colors, but honestly, I don't know. So that is everything for this haul. Sorry, this ends on a sad, mad note, but that's just what happens sometimes. So might be refilming. My new releases, if I refill my new releases, I'll only be showing one of these and then showing um, clip uh, pictures of the other ones. So if I forgot to mention that I'm refilming, which I probably won't because I'll be mad. But if you don't see graphics of those ones, it means that Nick's recovered my card. So that is everything for this video. I hope y'all liked it and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.